Here we are. It is June 2nd. And it's been uh, about nine months since I changed the oil in this car. And it's got 3,500 miles on it. And the change oil light came on. So that's what we're doing. I've uh, changed the... I've drained the oil out of the pan. There's two bolts underneath there. I took them off and drained it. And checked everything over. And I've been greasing it. Putting grease in. i got to do some more greasing in just a minute. Now I'm adding the oil back in. And then I'm going to make sure that the valve cover gaskets are not leaking. So we have that's what usually happens. The valve cover gaskets get loose, and then because of that, more oil drains out around the valve covers and goes out of the bottom there is used in the engine. So we don't have to change. This, this lasts about 3,500 miles before it's down a quart. And when it's down a quart, it's time to change the oil. So this car's got like 180,000 miles on it. Runs great, it's comfortable, looks like crap, but uh, uh, that's because we had to keep it outside. Now we put it in a, we got a shed for it, so our garage is full of stuff. You can say there's no room for the garage car in the garage anymore, so we got another shed to park it in. We should have done that 10 years ago, and then the wood sides would still be nice and pretty. This is a this is a luxury car. We we put a hundred thousand miles on it. We bought it when I had about eighty five and eighty five thousand miles, and it's been a great car. We've gone all over in this thing and gets twenty miles to the gallon up here. And a big car like this, twenty miles to the gallon, is pretty wonderful. So we just tune it up every once in a while and put oil in it. And Change the air filter once in a while. I'll check that too in just a second. And uh, ten years ago, we put good spark plug wires on it, and they're still good. They're uh, Magna Core spark plug wires, and they've lasted a long time. They're as good as new. Car's got air conditioning, power seats. Electric windows, and it's a big boat, a big old boat. It's very comfortable, so we like it. And and can light ride around in it because it's old and doesn't smell like a new car. And uh, I don't want a new car. <laughs> I'm too cheap. But uh, and besides that, if somebody hits us in this, we won't even feel it. Unless it's a truck. So, we like big old cars. And so we have an 86. This is the 86. It's, how old is that? 24 years old. And we have an 87. It's 23 years old. And the only thing that's happened to that is somebody stole it. And we got it back and fixed it up again. We're still driving it. We bought it at 50,000 miles and it has 160 on it. Yeah? And uh, it gets 20 miles per gallon most of the time. We have to fiddle with it once in a while. But we live in Rimrock, Arizona, and that is the best place in the world to live. We love it up here. We know we can see the stars at night. It's got good air. It's, it gets pretty warm, but not like Phoenix. It's where it's like 3,500 feet, and. Uh, we have a view that people would kill for. Not quite. But, uh, only the people who live in uh, Saudi Arabia would kill for it. Because <laughs> it's so beautiful up here. And we'll show you that in just a minute. So we got all the oil in it. And, uh, and then we give the oil, old oil for a friend. He's got a big oil heater in his garage that he uses to heat his house. I mean, his garage his shop. So we saved the oil for him. So, now we got a grease. A couple more fittings here. Here's the grease gun. I've done the ones underneath most of them. i got two more to do after I start the engine. Oh, it's dripping. Oh, nuts. I always have to clean it.
the driveway. <laughs> no matter what. Tripping up the end of the thing. Anyway, we go over here and we wipe off the fitting. But you can't see. We wipe off the fitting. This is the upper ball joints. We've done the lower ball joints and almost almost everything. And then we stick this on here. And then we give it a crank. We give it two just in the road here. There's one. Okay. I'll do the other one on top the other side. Oh, got oil all over the place. Not even from the engine. Man, I gotta clean all that up. So if you have your oil changed, you don't have to mess with that. You don't have all that, uh, the all these old cars. This thing needs uh, new shock absorbers because they're leaking. Also, I noticed that today. They're only <laughs> probably 12 years old, 15 years old. Uh oh, I'll use that down below. Okay, I sure made a mess. Hmm. It all came out of the grease gun instead of the oil. And look at that, all oiled all over the place. So I'll have to come out and clean that. I'm going to start it now. i get my hands clean. Oh, it's a little greasy. But then I turn this inside out. Just like new. Almost. <laughs> I'm wearing gloves so I don't have to wash my hands afterwards. Which helps. So now I have to start the engine to turn. Uh, I could maybe do it. Let's see here. Because the oil spills out if I don't start the engine. So. My show, I guess. We can Let's see here. This is my deluxe flooring is cardboard boxes. And then the fitting is up here and I gotta go through this hole. And then I go up here and oh I need my rag too, because I gotta clean it off first. Oh my goodness. Where's my dirty? Let's see. Oh, it's up here. Thank you. Anyway, gotta clean the fittings before you stick the grease in. And then we gotta go like this. And then we get pump like one, one shot into this. There we go. Just about to the. Huh? Just about to the 10 minute mark here. Anyway, may the Lord bless you. We just do this ourselves because uh, it's 20 miles to town and you got to wait an hour for them to do it. And usually I can do it in about 20 minutes to half an hour. And I check things over while I'm doing it just to make sure everything's okay. Like this right here is dripping down here. This is, this is one of the plugs. There's a plug here, and there's a plug here, and this one's dripping. So I got to tighten that one a little more. And the guys at the oil change place, they don't care. They just they just do it and run. So, anyway, may the Lord bless your day. And just realize that God gives you health and strength and energy to, to glorify Him and, and to work. Everybody, every man especially, needs to work. And uh, He's designed to work. I mean, I'm almost 68 years old and I'm still doing a little bit of work. I love to work. I have to help people. So, and this, and besides doing it this way, I save a little money. Money's not the important part, but uh, make sure that everything's safe and good. So, so God gives us life, and He gives gave us His Savior, and because of the Savior, 
we have real life and real peace and real joy and real reason to live. So if you haven't given your life to Jesus Christ today, if you haven't begged Him to save you, if you haven't pleaded with Him to get the best gift ever, do it today. In Jesus' name, amen.